Uh, let, let's say I'm a bank robber. I've got a perfect <laughs> crime lined up. I got inside connections. I paid off the cops. I've uh, I've got everything going for me on this uh, last little heist I'm gonna do. It's worth forty million dollars. How are you gonna convince me not to do it and go work at McDonald's? Because that's in my self-interest. Okay. The question is, uh, <laughs> this guy has the perfect crime lined up. Uh, he's got. Uh, insiders at a bank, they're going to steal, uh, they're going to rob the vault, $40 million, he's going to get away with it, he has no problems, how do I convince him not to do it? He's got everything going for him. First, I don't know whether I can convince you or not, but I can tell you uh, how you should be convinced. You're mistaken to think you have everything going for you. You have one thing, one very important thing going against you. That's reality. You are going to be robbing a bank. You're, excuse me, you're going to be robbing a bank. So first of all, you're operating on the principle that force is the way people should live with one another. You are sanctioning the use of force against you. You will know people will, you will have to live worried at every corner that someone will try to steal that 40 million from you just as you stole it from someone else. Secondly, you will have to concoct all kinds of lies in order to shield yourself from the consequences of your actions. You've stolen 40 million dollars that don't belong to you. You will have to go and every time you buy your new yacht you're going to have to try to explain to people, where does this guy who's been working at McDonald's get the money to buy a yacht? Uh, you buy a house. Every place you go, you're going to be forced to live in a world of pretense. You're going to have to be afraid of the truth. Every step, uh, you, every footstep is a potential danger to you. The guy who works at McDonald's, who starts out by working at McDonald's and then works his way up, is not afraid of reality. There are no facts out there that threaten him. He does not gain any value by means of force or by fraud, and therefore he doesn't have to fake anything. You have to fake things constantly. You have to pretend that money is yours. You have to pretend you somehow got it by working at McDonald's. You have to come up with all kinds of stories if the police get leads to you as to where you were that day, and. The, the, to sum up, the fact that you have to concoct falsehoods in order to obtain or to retain certain value means that, that, you're, means that you're doing something that ultimately is against your interest. You're setting up a war between you and reality. A value obtained in that manner, the $40 million, that you obtain by means of force, by fraud, by dishonesty, is not a value to you. It's going to lead you only to be constantly having to run away from the truth, to run away from reality, and that, I think, is contrary to your interest. I think the person who works at McDonald's will wind up being much happier than you will. Next. All right. Back to the broiler.